What's good, A1 gang? Shout out to everybody that's been asking me what's been going on and my thoughts with the 6 9 case. So we're going to jump straight into it. I don't know all the details surrounding the case, but from the research that I did do, I'm going to just give y'all a quick uh, summary of that and then let y'all know what I think. As y'all know, last week, 6 9 and a couple members, they said five members from his crew, 9 Trey, Blood, was arrested on a, a RICO act. If y'all don't know what the RICO Act is, that's a charge they used to sweep up all gang members in the United States. Just a few years back in the city I'm from, they just swept up a lot of Hispanic gangs using the RICO Act because they couldn't get them with no other charges. So basically, the RICO Act is a way to get to lock motherfuckers up who they can't lock up no other way, basically, with a lack of evidence. So 6 9 and his crew got hit with this shit. They saying based on racketeering and firearm charges and also conspiracy to murder. Racketeering is basically using your gang or whatever organization you in to take money from other people. So you're doing illegal shit to take money from other people. That's racketeering. They saying he also has a conspiracy to, for murder charge and multiple assault with uh, dangerous weapon charges. So for y'all that don't know, he was, uh, they trying to say he, he was involved in a robbery where they robbed an uh, uh, opposite gang member trying to say he's involved in the shooting at the Barclays Center. Uh, they trying to say he's involved in some murder for hire shit. They trying to say he's involved in a lot of shit right now, you know. And you know when they do that, generally what they trying to say is we going to stack charge upon charge on top of your ass until you bury so far underneath charges that you can't get out. So I think... So Honestly, I think he's going to slip his way through the cracks somehow. I'm not saying without doing any jail time, because when they stack them charges on you like that, they want some time out you. So I think we might see him get hit with something. If y'all remember a few years back with Lil Boosie, he got hit with a conspiracy to murder charge and a couple other charges as well. And he did about four and a half and then was able to be released after facing like damn near the death penalty. So I think we're going to see a similar situation like this with 6 9 A lot of people saying, you know, they think he'll snitch, you know, because basically he already doing a lot of uh, self-snitching on Instagram, you know, on social media, telling things that he's doing, you know, saying people he's beefing with and with him firing his management team and doing all this other troll shit. So a lot of people saying just because of those traits of him, they believe he's going to snitch. Now, right off the bat, I can't say it. But I say it's very likely. The the chances are very high in the position he's in because y'all got to think about it. He used to get money. He used to live in a certain lifestyle right now. This nigga's not trying to give all that up to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my opinion, you know, for right now. So we're going to have to look more into the story, see what's what. And I'm going to let y'all know what I think. Make sure y'all drop in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. And we're going to update as the story goes on. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, follow me on Instagram at stay down, come up underscore December. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube at stay down, come up. A1 gang, we out.